out here at the Infinity Room right we now. I'm saying we in the back rooms right now. You don't know. You don't know. On the scene live, it's pretty fucking young. We have the very special guest. We got Neil Chris, man, Big Dragon, man. We on the scene. In the picture, we were kids. I'm in Paris with my kids. You need to be with my kids. Yes, kids. Dragon, yes sir, yes sir. So you're a Seattle. You're from Seattle. You're born and raised. Uh, no, I'm actually born um in the South. I was uh, oh, born in Oklahoma, Virginia okay. Beach. Okay, where? Oh, St. Texas. You. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes, sir. That's where all my family is from. Um, and then I migrated to Seattle. That makes sense. That makes sense. I feel like you got like a... I mean, you know, I've grown up in Northwest my whole life and stuff. And Seattle's cool and stuff, but I feel like you bring a different kind of like uh, edge to that. Like you got a little Seattle, you got... You know, it's like yeah, your culture yeah, and you yeah. got a whole different kind of broad horizon and stuff. And yeah. you know, if you if you don't know who Il Chris is, this motherfucker been out for years. I've known about Il Chris since I was like 18 years old. This motherfucker is a legend. He's worked with Ski Mask, Lafer, all these different artists. He's been he's very tapped in. And honestly, he's someone that you guys need to know about because this is this, if you're gonna do it, they're gonna do it like this. This is the right way to do it. So are you independent? Are you uh, signing any labels? Do you have a publishing deal? Uh, I was signed before, but um, yeah. now I'm independent, you okay. know. So. Yes sir. Doing it right, man. Just going, going crazy, trying to drop as many releases as I can. Yes, sir. Trying to turn, you know, trying to see out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, so, what do you, what do you think about the music scene in Seattle compared to that and in Virginia Beach? Um, so, I mean, like Seattle, like you know, it's got heavy hitters that mm. came from out there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, shoot, man, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Old grunge Sub pop, sub pop, right sub pop, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 No, but you had like the Blue Stars that was yeah. like really big on the underground. Yeah. And I think like Macklemore kind of came from that club. Oh, yeah. He did, yeah. He's, uh, my friend actually grew up with Macklemore. He played soccer with him and shit. Like over. I guess he kind of grew up in the hood. I don't know. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, was, he was off of like uh, CD area. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So yes, sir. He's definitely doing his thing out there. I don't know. I don't know about him being good at soccer. Though. Yeah, no, probably not. Probably, I don't know if he's a hooper ball or whatever the fuck. Yeah, yeah I don't know if he's doing shout that. Out to yeah, shout out to Max Moore. Yeah, shout out to Max Moore. Brian Lewis really fucking putting on for the city. So, so, so what, what was that to finish answering the question? What What's the difference between like the music scene in Seattle? And the music so like, like music scene, Seattle like, got like a lot of potential, mm -hmm. but like yes, you know, yeah, in other cities, like you know, they'll be having like people that's kind of on them already. Can give game to people mm -hmm. that are coming up, but really we don't have that. I feel like, like, I mean, you, I feel like you are one of those people. Like, yeah. I've, I've been, from what I've seen, like, you're working with some of these huge artists, and then you're just out and about, you're traveling, you're doing you're, 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 So, like, yeah, like, so, like, me not being from there, yeah. I kind of got to see the range of the world yeah, yeah. before I got to Seattle. And then, like, me trying to get to Seattle was kind of like me having to, like, show them or show artists, like, how to do certain things. Yeah, 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 yeah. It goes on deaf ears because. It's like, how do you show somebody someone that's never seen something before, you know? Yeah, yeah, you can so. take a horse to walk and can make it. Yeah, and, and I also feel like, uh, I don't know about if it's all artists or just like artists in hip hop, scene, probably a little bit of both, but I feel like people don't really like being told, like, oh, this is how you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. So even though, like, they can use the advice, but like, why would I listen to somebody else? You know, like, kind of prideful. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, it's, you know, it's just about, like, dropping music and staying consistent. Yeah. But, yeah. like, I feel like Seattle doesn't have an outlet, and that's pretty much the problem. It's yeah. like, it's kind of like, is there a real outlet in Maine, you know, or like yeah, yeah, South yeah. Dakota? So, but like Seattle, it's like hip, like mm -hmm. it just gotta find its its way. And like other cities I lived in, like of course, like Texas, there's like a bunch oh, yeah. of rappers that blew up. Yeah. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. the Clips and Pharrell are from Virginia. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying so Virginia. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, you understand they had to pave their own way too, and I just don't think you're gonna do that locally. Yeah. And I think a lot of people from Seattle just stay there. You gotta move around. That's what I mean. Yeah, you know what I'm saying so. 100. Yeah. Yeah, even like Portland, like got a mean and he did it right. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, Mina, Danielle, Dodger, fucking. I mean, he was there for a little bit. You know, he fucking just. I met, I met, I met you at a very young age. Out here. I, I, I met, I, I met. I, but I, here's yeah. the thing, that's what he did. He moved to New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he moved to LA. That's what the media did too. That's Dodger right. got signed to Interscope, moved yeah. out. Like you kind of get your bearings, you get your local crowd scene. Shout out to little next man. Oh yeah, shout out to next I know, I need on. He got, he got all the new artists when they come up. Right, so. right. But yeah, it's just been. You gotta get your feet out. You gotta plant your feet, right? Yeah. Like roots. Get your bearings. And then you gotta like branch out like a tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. the best way I can explain it. I mean, honestly, since you've been working with all these artists, and you, you were signed before, as I said, as you said, but. Um, You've been independent now. 
Uh, what like advice would you give to these people? Because it's like I feel like there's very few people in the game right now that can say they've worked, done all the things that you've done. You know, you're traveling, you're doing like big shit, big shows, you're getting flown out places, you're you know, you're doing a lot of shit that people. I'll tell you, you gotta get on the scene live. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. That's how you gonna do it, sir. We're gonna blow you up. You know, you gotta, you gotta get on the scene. Yeah. Don't be a player hater. Yeah. Don't be a scum sucking player hater. Don't hate on just because somebody got a buzz. Yeah. Don't go on that tangent. Get your time. You know saying? Don't get your shit on your own and reach out and like take every opportunity to rise up. You feel me? So. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the thing is like I've seen, as I said, you know, I've seen you out here for years and stuff. Like, how did you get, how did you initially get in those rooms? How did you, how did, um, I feel like you have a, an aura about you that okay, so, check this out. so I was always doing my yeah. own events. You know what oh, I'm so, okay, okay. I, yeah. I was always throwing my own events. So, you're like, out and stuff, like, so yeah, so I was working a lot with like, okay, so like the first artist I ever booked was Currency. So like, there you go. That's already, yeah. and I met him at South by Southwest. This okay. going South by Southwest. I booked him, then I met like Sir Michael Rocks okay, yeah. and Smoke Dizzy. Okay. And I, I brought them out to Portland too. So Word. I kind of yeah. linked with them, and through them, like Mikey Rocks was like yeah. an underground like head. He was living in like Miami. So that cool kids, right? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Mikey yeah. Rocks. Yeah. Mikey he Rock. introduced yeah. me to like Denzel Curry. Well, I was introduced to Yeah. Rob yeah. Banks. Yeah. Rob Banks. Yeah. 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 I brought him out to Portland like a few months ago. But oh, oh yeah, I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. But like, I got tapped in with them and. I kind of started running with Ski Mask and Slump God yeah, yeah. and, and Pony in, and so I kind of bridged the whole Florida way. Yeah, you got the yeah. Florida, you got the South Florida, Broward County, yeah. all them like, cats. So I kind of came up under them, but like now it's like I feel like I can like branch on my own, you know? So yeah, that's so what I mean. I'm not like I was working with Larry June at a very early, early age in his career, like wild, 2011. Wild. Like I was the first person to book the Larry June shows. Yeah, yeah. I'm the first person to book Pooja shows. Yeah, yeah. I was the first person to book uh, Suicide Boys. Yeah, we did you go to Deep Block at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Show, the Suicide Boys show, the Ski and X, you know, yeah. crazy. Yeah. yeah, like, that's how I kind of got tapped in with them. So, I don't know, again, I keep mentioning how long you've been in the game for, but I'm kind of curious, like, who are some, who are, like, I mean, like, top three, you know, artists that you're kind of watching right now? And, because, like, you have a context of seeing the, the generation that is here now, or the artists that are here now, that are popping now, or, like, like the pioneers that you hung out with paved the way for them. Yeah. So, like, who are some people that you see, you know, kind of capturing and emulating that same kind of, uh, that energy, that real, like, raw, like, who do you think's gonna be, you know, but I, I like to talk about, like, like artists that are, like, on, like, on who do you, who do you, I mean, like, who do you, uh, are you, who do you listen to, who do you like, who do you, like, favor, who do you want to, like, you know? Who I want to win, kind of? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know if y'all heard about, like, Highway from, like, Seattle. No, no. Rapper that's uh, in Seattle, but okay. he's got some notable songs. He has a song with, like Destroy Lonely. Oh shit! Oh damn! Okay, okay, yeah. And then Opium's all fucking. All those cats are doing all the biggest shit. Like they're probably the biggest label out right now. Crazy, crazy. Big crazy. You know, I fuck with a bunch of rappers that I got collabs with and shit. So like, you know, I got a little label I work on every now and then. Like everybody, pretty much I pick up. You know, like, Say, uh, some cool music coming out, so, um, do, you, uh, do you have a producer that you usually go to? Really? Yeah, I'll be fucking with this cat named uh, Day Day. Day Day? Day Valentino, he's so fire, bro. Uh, you, is it something you uh, meet up with personally or you just any packs and shit? Um, I met him in Orlando. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. He's my favorite go to producer. Nice, nice, man. I heard uh, the sound check sounded great. You know, I, I, even to the sound check, brought a lot of energy. Um, I feel like there was a song that you were kind of like, it was a little more like, 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 like yelling and like a little bit more uh, intense and stuff. I don't think I've heard uh, other songs of yours like that from prior. Is that a new song? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of new songs that are out me, yeah. Okay. So, okay, so, so like, you know, shit. there's a Salem, like, they get to the, see the new shit. You know, it's okay. like the underground Exclusive. market, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Salem is kind of part of the like, more underground. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like not so like no, so I'm gonna try some shit. No, no. Okay. we love to see it. We'll be we'll filming that. We'll be filming it for sure. Likes. Yeah. yeah. So do you? Are you one of those people that sound a lot of music where it's like you just have this vault full of like different songs? I know some people who are like very like they spend a lot of time on like three songs, but then there are people who are like every day they make like five songs. How do you? Well, I got so many songs. But here's the problem. I got a lot of songs and I don't have a lot of songs out because. 
a lot of these fucking DSPs and distribution companies, yeah. they're just real shitty, man. And like, yeah. my shit keeps getting flagged for the dumbest shit. Oh, like, yeah. And like, or like, I, I read some dumbass shit like, oh, like, this, I don't know this what it is. This is some stupid. Like it wasn't even that, bro. It yeah. was the dumbest shit ever. So something about like, I went against some guidelines of the, uh, of like, I don't know, like, just something just like I, I think out of left field, like some weird field. bunkin shit. But yeah, the name yeah. of that album sounds like another song or something. Not even that. Like the shit is called Finesse and Embarrassed, mm. and I think they're like saying it's well, derogatory. Like you make that one as option. Yeah, yeah, they're saying it's derogatory. Yeah. Yeah. Like towards, look at this shit. Let me show y'all right here. Look. That's wild. Look at this. Yeah. It's really, yeah, so the captain. Fuck it. This nigga got a warning. You got a warning. Saying it's derogatory, offensive, and abusive. Like, wild. To who? To who? To who? Like, you know, like being sneaky, I guess. Yeah, I think Paris cats, like, like, they're like, wait a minute. Like, excuse yeah. me, you're doing what you're saying? Right. Right. No offense to my finesse or to my Paris homies, but they're putting like, wee wee, like, yeah. like, oh, 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 oh. like, it was big, said, no, 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 I look like I'm. You're gonna get 86 from Paris, bro. That'd be tight. 86 from Paris is a good song, dude. I don't know. Yeah, I know. That's tight. Yeah. Right. I try to beat the hell out of somebody in the club in Paris. Really? I'm sure. I saw fucking. It's kind of crazy. He, he was probably pulled out of baguette. They don't got place out there. Yo. She brought some bread. He said, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But like, we got there on some, like, I know you're, like, really into fashion. Uh, you're, you know, everything you wear is always, like, you know, top, upper echelon and stuff. Are you, are you kind of, like, would you consider yourself, like, I know so many people that are musicians or artists who have music out who wouldn't consider themselves a rapper. They say, I'm not a rapper. But what, what would you say maybe your title would be? Or is it kind of I don't know. I, I just think, like, I'm, like, an innovator in the culture. Like, Philanthropist. I, just really, I really don't feel no other way. I feel like it's, like, a whole world. Out. Like it's not just the music, it's not just the fashion, yeah. but just the way I like mold the shit together. Yeah. It's symbiotic, but like it's like I feel like like it's natural. Man. I feel like an Asian Kanye. They just yeah. stop you. Shit. You, like, are, you are putting off the yeah. community, man. Like, I, feel I, like, I feel like I feel like this guy more than a rapper. I feel like Nigo more. Than yeah. Rapper. Oh fuck I just yeah. can see it. I can I see was just shit. talking about Nigo earlier, like, bro. Like well, listen. I've been I've been a part of a lot of waves. Mm-hmm. I curated a lot of people's sound. Yeah. I curated a lot of looks to go with the sound, mm-hmm. and it's like not recognized. But I don't yeah. care if it ever is because those that know know. So you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 100. percent You know, you get you get get your flowers, and they're copying you. That means you're doing the right thing, man. Yeah. If niggas is biting and they're not giving you credit. It's like because they don't want to fucking let. It's not even biting. I just kind of give it. I kind of like what did everyone else say? I hand out styles like ice cream cones. That's what I've been doing. Don't do that homework. Uh, so I, I always say, like, you know, some people are worried about people biting them, copying them, but nobody can beat you. You know, they can, they can copy you, but they're never going to beat you. Yeah. You know? I'm like, I'm like a circuit motherboard, man. Yeah. Just, you know, you connections. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like I go into these, like, creative. I feel like I go into these creative streams, and I see people just copying me left and right, and I get kind of butthurt about it, but then I'm like, you know what? That means that I'm doing something right. Highly and favorite. Can, I'm and they can't about. do it. They can't do it just like me. Highly you know, favorite. Yeah. Hey man, if y'all don't know, yeah. you gotta get on the scene. That's right, live, right now. Live. Salem, Infinity Room, we going up. Ill Chris tonight. Infinity, man. Yes, sir, forever, forever and ever. So, Any more questions? No, nah, man, I, I, I want to let you get back to the hotel. I'm going to get back to the hotel. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Come on, appreciate man. you, dog. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah, Ill Chris, Chris man. man. No, Infinity Room, room. we all just stay alive, man. Big Dragon. Big Dragon, I love that, I love that. Big Dragon. Oh, also, shout out your socials real quick. Yo, uh, LX Chris, man, you see the dragon, I'm getting the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's see the ice. Uh-oh. Dragon, look, like, you see the oh, dragon. Ice, I've never seen a person. Hey, yeah. Oh, oh, this guy's got the most ice. This guy's got the most ice. That's my boy Diego Money right here. Yes, sir. He got the bomber oh, man. Yeah. Diego Money, man. Yeah. He got songs for that. Yeah, the bomber man. That shit wild. He got songs for that. He got that shit in the camera. Let that shit bling a little bit. This guy's a, this guy's a Dallas legend. Everything oh, that I just said... He's like, he's like, he's he's like, he's like the same thing in Dallas. Oh, we're okay. But maybe yeah. bigger, like, you word. know what I'm saying? Like, well, I mean, I bro, I appreciate that. I mean, yeah. my boy's running with ASAP back in the day. Damn. Kept, kept copying his dances. Yeah. This guy's yeah. the man right here. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna get into that until you do. Uh, no, I'm not. Like, I'm not ASAP, but yeah. Ask me about that. You know what I'm yeah. I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. What's ASAP like? Um, I met him like three times. He was really like about to get some, like he was really fucking with me. I feel like Ace Rob is real. I feel like he's a real dude. Yeah, my friend was like signing Def Jam back in the day and he was saying he was working with all those cats and shit. 
he said he was like running with like Pyrex and like Virgil back, like, you know, all those. When that was a thing, when Pyrex was really like, you know, Pyrex is that shit. That shit was fucking tight, man. I went to the museum in Chicago, the Virgil Museum, and saw the whole, whole Pyrex shit. Man. So, yeah, man, that shit got paid respects, man. Yes, sir. Real shit. My boy, yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to see you live. I want to see you live. We out here. Yes, sir. Cheers. 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 I don't know what that means. I want to say shout out to Rhythm and Flow. Everybody who got love for hip hop.